Hey, what's going on everyone? I'm Chris. I'm here with Kathy. We go by Ginger Marvin on Instagram and YouTube. We have another What's Sold video for you today. It is Thursday and we're going to follow Kathy around and see what's sold for us today. I'm ready. I'm ready. I'm ready. <laughs> Probably making some offers. Uh, the offers never stop. No, I'm in, I was reading this message because the first sale is to a viewer, Michelle. Okay. Um, so while I'm here with my phone, um, she just said, I'm a fan of your YouTube channel. I've learned so much from you, too. Keep up the good work, Michelle. Thank awesome. you, Michelle. Yeah. She bought some Sperry shoes and bought some in here. Ah. Reese, I just saved your life <laughs> from a four-ounce pair of sandals falling on your cute head. All right, so yeah, she just bought these little Sperry shoes for twelve thirty-five plus shipping on Kitizen. Um, I honestly don't remember where I got those. They were in my son's shoe bin, and he had a similar pair, so I pulled those out to sell. My guess is I probably got them out once upon a child, so probably paid five or six fifty for them. But yeah, thank you, Michelle. Thank you so much for the support and the kind words, Michelle. Yeah. So AI. Also sold on Kitizen, just some Zara jogger pants. Again, something I bought for my son, but he didn't wear. Um, I got those off of ThreadUp. I had like $12.99 into them, I believe. And I sold them for 20 plus ships. So mostly just maybe made like a couple bucks other than what I've already spent on them. Uh, box AP. All right, so this is a Poshmark sale. Those Toms, the like perforated ones. And those sold for an offer of $25. I accepted. I did pay $7 for them, so didn't take too long to sell, though. Head over, oh, over here, actually. Let's see. This is a Wrangler. I just thought the pattern was cool, just like a pearl snap. Oh, yeah. But unknown. Um, I did pay $5 for this, and I sold it for. $30 with free shipping on Posh, so I just offered that to Likers, so. And then a DI. Sold another one of these Cabana Life swimsuits uh, for $32 with discount and shipping, and I have $10 into these. one is hanging up here. I feel like we're selling a bra a day. Yeah. Now we're almost out. Let me get do some more. Yeah. Uh, so this one, I never knew that bras, like this is size 38i. I think it's an I. I hope it's an I. Me and Chris were trying to figure it out, but it, we were like, is it an I or an L? But I think we decided I because all the other bras were in capital yeah. letters, which this would be a capital I. So anyways, I never knew that bras went up to an I for a letter. So I learned something and I sold that for $24 plus shipping on Mercari. Yeah, I imagine the bigger sizes are a lot harder to come by. So, yeah. <laughs> um, so. I, much like, you know, large shirts for large men. So I think this is the last pair I have of these guys. Uh, little Old Navy Hirachi sandals. Those sold for 16 plus ship. I have about $3 and some change into them. So happy with that. All right. Moving all my stuff. I'm gonna get them confused. Moving to the sold table. Prana shorts. So these were another item from my Fred at Men's box. I think that and those white beater shirts that we sold right. a, couple a few days, days ago. ago. Yeah. Um, I think those are the only two things that were even listable in the box. So I don't remember what the box cost. Maybe like 50 bucks or something. But yeah, I even with those and the others, I did not make my money back. So these were, these sold for 25 plus ships. So I made at least 25 total back on right. those two items. So not a total loss. <laughs> I learned not to buy Thread Up Men's Rescue Boxes. <laughs> we just, we're not huge fans yeah. of the mystery box at all, really. No. 
now we're on the eBay. So these Dance Go Sandals, they sold for $30.76 plus shipping. And I have $12.99 into those. They've only been listed a couple days, so. And what did we decide on the color on that? Because it's kind of like a... I called them red, so hopefully like a, the person doesn't like try to return and say those are not red. I mean, it's if this was a lipstick, it would definitely be a red lipstick. I called it red because when I did the Google Lens, the other ones were all called red. So. Right. <laughs> it's kind of like a metallic, yeah. like super shiny. But that's enough of a reason for someone to get a return on eBay if they yeah. want to. So. Hoping for the best. <laughs> Another thing in here. Alrighty. These are some little natives from my 65 pair day. Um, like I mentioned yesterday, we've been, we, I've been dropping all the prices <laughs> on what's left, which is less than 20 pairs now. Um, so yeah, these ones sold for $17.56 free ship. That's because I listed them at $19.95 and with our shop discount right now, that's what the buyer paid. Uh, they're like three ounces, so the shipping was only right around $3 and I only have about $4 and in change into them. So. Yeah, I did a little quick calculation today of all the ones we've have sold so far, like the 40 something pairs that I have sold and I'm right right around what I said I was going to yeah. be. So, I'm excited to get the last few sold so we can do a wrap up. Yeah, we're thinking about doing like a wrap up video just to kind of follow up with that um just to be an easy overall just closure. So, cuz it is spread out amongst what at least 20 what's old videos now. Or maybe not that many, well, but... Like, it's only been right around 30 days because okay. those I just relisted, what, two days ago? And eBay is every 30 days that I'm ending my items. Mm -hmm. so. Am I in the wrong box? A.S. Uh, so this is just a Rockies uh, Nike Polo. It is a men's 3X. So I got this at TJ Maxx for 8 I thought with the the size and everything, the Nike retail tag was 70. I was like, I could probably get half of that, like 30 plus ship, but it took a while to sell and I finally got 26, 36 free ship. Um, it's only 10 ounces, so it costs about 4.12 to ship out. So still made a little money. And last but not least, Reese, I gotta get him BB. Reese Bear, I need you to move, come on. Excuse mama. <laughs> All right. Sorry, Buster. So these cute little booties, these took forever to sell. Like, I think I bought them last April off thread up. And some things just be like that, but these are the cutest little boots. These retail for like 70 or 80 bucks. Wow. Um, so they're just leather handmade baby boots. They're called, I don't even know how you say this, Takoto or Takoto Vintage. Hmm. Uh, but yeah, so these, I bought these off thread up for $8.99 and I sold them finally for 26 29 plus shipping so not too bad even in their box they're only like three ounces so i'm just gonna i grabbed another box out because i did say i was gonna ship them in their box and i don't want their box to get right. damaged i'm gonna put this box in this box and even still you can see they already printed the labels all right under so we'll just tape that up and be good a little so yeah paper around it or bubble wrap or something just to we only got four ounces <laughs> point four, point four ounces play with so gotta yeah. keep it under eight so other than that i have two ebay sales that have have not paid yet so that's really all we have for today all right we'll get this stuff packed up real quick all right we got all that stuff packed up and put in the hulking bag we're gonna have to pull it out to take a thumbnail picture but we did have one two more sales one, right? one, one more sale, and nobody has paid. Right, we yeah, had two that were two pending. Paid yet. So these are just actually listed today, so they're still on the table here. Oh, one of these. So which one? These guys. Salt water, but slide sandals for women. Um, I got them for five ninety nine at Goodwill last night, and I sold them for twenty nine ninety five free shipping. They weigh 12.6 ounces, so I'll just figure out the shipping real quick. So it's going to cost me $5.42 to ship those to California. Once you print it up, we'll just go ahead and ship it real quick, just to kind of see the process. We, I have been getting a lot of questions lately about the, the printer that we use. 
Um, we do use a Dymo 4XL. Um, I think it's okay. Kathy's not quite as sold on it as I am. Um, it does seem to have like, it needs to be reset every once in a while. Like it'll just stop printing and you unplug it, plug it back in and it works fine. Um, but I don't know, we haven't really put a link down in our description for it just because we're not 100% like sold on it. But if you guys do happen to want one and get one, you can use any of our links and search through Amazon and that will actually, um, as long as you click one of our links as you're purchasing, that will give us the credit or whatever. But um, we would like to try out a Rolo one day, but. There's our eBay pad in the mail. There's one of these, one of those. The Not smaller little. ones? No. Mm. Do we have any more big ones or no? Hmm. We might have used them all. All right. We might have used them all. The normal poly then. Yeah, we still have not really figured out a good way to keep all of our polys and shipping materials. We did get something to kind of hang here where the that sign is there, but it didn't look good and things were hanging out of it, so we kind of returned it. It looked worse it, than this pile on the floor. Yeah. So I don't know. We're going to have to figure something out. But these shipping hips bags, though. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, ginger 15 will get you 15% off. <laughs> Link down mm. below. Yeah. Just kidding, but seriously. <laughs> I do love their mailers. They are, they're nice heavy duty mailers. <laughs> I was only going to use a bubble one for that because they were shoes. Even though yeah. I think that they're going to get messed up because I ship most of our shoes in poly mailers. Yeah, we do double bag them. So. Anyway, we have the cellophane bag. Usually, unless we need to like cut some ounces off. <laughs> Not a single person has ever said right. anything bad about shipping shoes in right. mail or so. Um, so, momentum board. I know it's been a few days since we've oh. updated, and I don't know if we're actually up to date on that. Should we? Well, I did. Let's run some numbers real quick. Today. You want to run some numbers and we'll come back? Yeah. yeah, we'll be right back, and we'll talk about the momentum board. <laughs> All right, so we just ran the numbers for today. Kathy has been busy. <laughs> for if today you, if you consider 18 items busy i guess well i've been i've been gone all morning i had to take Sai to school and connor was here with her so i mean you, you got that all done with a kid at home so that's that's busy that was i guess so yeah yesterday none again today i did 18 which are all those shoes on the table so far the one pair sold and the total was 685 dollars plus shipping for those 18 pairs of shoes yeah um, but yeah, other than that, we're gonna probably gonna go to the bin tonight because I haven't been in a while. And we've been having a hard time trying to figure out a time <laughs> to get to Denver just with weather and, and our life. And yeah. we, we don't want to put the stimulus check, <laughs> there's a new stimulus check coming out, guys. And um, so yeah, that's how long we've been doing this one. Well, so it's only been like two and a half months, right? January, February, yeah, but. I don't know when we'll make it to Denver, so probably never because this is in Denver next week and we're probably not going to do that either because of more snow yeah. in the forecast. So not taking it off the board yet, but we'll, we'll wait a little bit assuming longer. Assuming we're not going to be able to do it yet. What's the absolute cutoff date like, well, this is that the you can cancel? I can cancel you can cancel all the way up until the drop off? Yeah, I haven't even signed up for my shift yet and this is a sale where I have to work one because I have over 500 items, so... Mm. That's another reason I won't be that sad if I can't right. do it. But it's a really good sale. If you live in Colorado, the Aurora, I've always, like, make the most money at that one. The Castle Rock one and the Colorado Springs one are the three best ones for me. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. All right. <laughs> so I think that is going to do it for today's What's Up video. Thank you so much for watching, guys. Um, if you do you have any questions or anything, do leave them down in the comments below. Please hit that subscribe button on your way out if you haven't yet. We are coming up on being a YouTube channel for a year. I think the 30th is the one-year anniversary. I think we've mentioned it a couple times, but if you didn't know, the 30th is the one-year anniversary of our YouTube channel. And we're excited as how far we've come along and um, what this channel has actually turned into. We never really expected it to be as um, awesome as a, of a channel and community as it is. And we're just excited to see what next year brings us. But um, yeah, that's going to do it for today, guys. We will see you in the next one. Bye.